What's up you guys? Welcome to another video! If you're new here, my name is Quincy Simone. Thank you so much for being here. You feel like we got a connection or like we vibe well. That means you should be a part of the family. So I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button and button. Sorry, I don't know what was going on there. But if you aren't new here, you already know what it is. I love you and I thank you so much for supporting me so far in my journey. But let's get into this because this video is a juicy one. This one is a good one, okay? Um, I'm going to be sharing eight signs how you know that the relationship that you're in or that you're trying to get in, trying to see what's tea, trying to see what's up, is God sent. I have um, done my research about this one and this is also from personal experience. So I'm sharing this to you so you do not have to feel the heartbreak and pain that I went through from being with an ungodly man. Amen? Amen. Let's get into this. The first sign that you know that God is in that relationship, the first sign that you know that that man or that woman is, is God sent and is from God and is a child of God is you guys have the same beliefs. So 2 Corinthians 6 14, let's look it up. Do not be unequally bound together with unbelievers. Do not make mismatched alliances with them and consistent with your faith. Or what partnership can righteousness have with lawlessness for sure like when you guys do not have the same beliefs you know like when you are not a christian believer you're not gonna have these certain expectations you are not gonna restrain from certain things because i mean they not a child of god they don't know that when you're trying to live a godly life that you're gonna have to restrain from sin you're gonna have to restrain from certain things that means you're gonna have to sacrifice things and maybe then when you're not really a believer they may seem like these big things they're like no i can't get rid of this i can't get rid of smoking i can't get rid of alcohol and all this other stuff but when you are a believer in Christ, you are renewed. You know, when you're a born-again Christian, you're renewed. Your spirit is renewed. So God gives you the urge and the will to want to get closer to him and want to restrain from these things. So when they are not a child of God, of course, they're not going to feel it necessary to, you know, restrain from these things. They're not going to feel it necessary to be righteous, you know, to differentiate what's right and what's wrong. You know, they're just going to go with what their flesh um their fleshly appetite wants them to crave wants them to you know get into to indulge in if you are with someone that is not a child of god and you guys do not have the same beliefs i highly recommend you know detaching from that person because birds of a feather flock together you know you may not like consciously try to do the things that they do but when you're around someone you pick up on their habits their their lingo their you know their their music taste all that type of thing especially when they have a spirit that is not from god the second sign that you know that that person is from god that woman or that man is a child of god and is god sent for you they must keep you from sexual immorality this is 1 Corinthians 6 18 run away from sexual immorality in any form whether thought or behavior whether visual or written for the longest time I didn't really know what was considered sexual immorality that kind of confused me I'm not gonna lie still kind of does but I did a little bit of research so I'm gonna share it can be adultery so you know cheating on your significant other that's a given why are you in a relationship if you're just gonna go mess with so and so and so and so and so and so fornification before marriage sex before marriage I feel like we as Christians, we kind of know that. And then the third one is lust. That's the third kind of thing that I came up with when it comes to sexual immorality. When I think of lust, I think of things that's just like caught up in the moment, things that make you feel good. It's not really love. It's not forgiveness. It's not compromise, you know? And I feel like those are certain things that you that, that comes with love, you know, love versus lust. I feel like that's a totally different video. So if that person is like constantly you know, trying to push you towards sexual immorality, sexual impurity, and, you know, trying to, like, basically make you idolize and fantasize about sex all the time, I feel like that's, that is not from God, that is not from God, and, um, I personally experienced this, which is one of the reasons why I knew that I needed to out of that last relationship just because um it was just it was just too much it was too much sex going on it, it was just too much lust a relationship is much more than that the third way that you know that this person that this woman that this man is from god is this peace in the relationship this is a big one hebrews 12 14 continuously pursue peace with everyone and the sanctification without which no one will ever see the lord a lot of times i think as women especially i don't want to <laughs> Men, you, you, you know, you may be able to attest to this, but as women, I feel like we put up with so much more than we should just because we know that, like, things aren't going to always be good. Things aren't always going to be easy. But that does not mean at the same time that you should put up with abuse, violence, confusion. You know, that man or that woman will make it known that they are yours, that you are theirs. And if there's any type of confusion in that, that is not from God because God is not a man of confusion. So if you're just constantly second-guessing what this relationship is, whether this person is good enough for you or not if you're constantly in a confused state that is not from god god is going to give you clarity god is going to give you facts 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 if this person is like continuously trying to bicker and argue and and you know trying to just always nitpicking something no 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 
no sweetheart a person that wants to figure things out create some type of peace that wants to be your peace that wants because life is already hard enough okay do not be with someone that constantly puts a burn on you that constantly wants to nitpick you and put you down be with someone that makes life easier the fourth sign that you know that this person is from God and that you should be in this relationship is that the relationship pushes you closer to God 1 John 2 29 if you know that he is absolutely righteous God himself you know for certain that everyone who practices righteousness what is right and conforming to God's will has been born of him so if you know that God is right then you know that a person that does um, that leads a righteous life that knows right from wrong and that is morally right then you know that that person is from God now I know sometimes I feel like this isn't going to say that like when you mature and when you grow up that you realize that certain things are wrong like I know from what I was doing freshman year to now baby I just be I just be questioning I'm just be like how did you not know that that was wrong and so I would just be careful and you know ask God for his opinion about like whether you should stay with someone because some people are maturing some people it does take a little bit longer for them to figure out what's right and what's wrong um, so in that case I wouldn't say just, just don't just leave the minute that that person does um, something wrong because God at the same time does not want us to count others wrongdoings he does not want us to judge people we are not in any position to, to judge besides him he put us all here in one another as one to correct each other so if you can correct that person bring them to God's word let them know that this is facts that you are not just speaking off the dome you know things like that but fact check them I feel like once they know right from wrong when someone kind of like leads them in this direction lead them softly you know and what they decide to do with that information it's it, it's on them you you know you can lead the horse to the water but you cannot make him drink the water it only takes one person to set you off from you know your your path that God has for you so the fifth way um that that person that you know that that person is from God is that they appreciate you Colossians 3 19 husbands love your wives with an affectionate sympathetic selfless love that always seeks the best for them and do not be embittered or resentful toward them because of the responsibilities of marriage amen you know like making sure that this person appreciates you because God he makes it known that he appreciates you he's gonna give you his grace his unbelievable favor he's gonna give you abundance of blessings and it's not that he expects anything in return it's just because that's how he is and if you can find a man that's like that that's not gonna count what he does and throw it back in your face Amen. Okay. If you are going to get a woman that you know that cooks and cleans and, and, and takes care of you, but without throwing it back in, back in your face, amen. I highly encourage that. But if you're with someone that just that is basically just never with you, never values you, doesn't really make it known that you benefit their life in some type of way. But um, this is this is a good one because I feel like today we can be wrapped up in like, you know, like just us 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 and we don't take the time to let others know in our lives whether that's a relationship friendship family whatever it may be co-workers and let them know that you are appreciated let them know that like yes I may be telling you to do this I may expect you to do this this and this and this but when you do this I want to you know match that with letting you know I'm grateful letting you know that I'm thankful letting you know that you you know that you are not you don't necessarily have to do this but the fact that you are the fact that you're here for me the fact that you're sticking by my side through all like these inconveniences and like my troubles and like my trials and you know the things that I'm going through in life I appreciate you for that and for someone to tell you that that means so much because sometimes I feel like people feel like we feel obligated to do these things and we don't necessarily have to do them but if we can do it out of just like the kindness of our heart I really feel like those who are meant for us those who are nice those are those who are a child of God they will they will appreciate you for that and they will tell you that they will make you feel like you are meant to be here because God is gonna let you know that you are the one and only he created you beautifully in your mom's womb to let you know that you know like you are a one of a kind yes we are all as one but you have something to contribute onto this earth we all have a purpose and for someone to let you know that thank you for being here thank you for being with me thank you for being by my side thank you for being in my life thank you for being you if you can find someone that is like that as well that is a win that is a win absolutely the sixth way that you will know that this person is um, from God that you should be in this relationship is that you will be happy with them in 1 Corinthians 15 33 do not be deceived bad company corrupts good morals be sober-minded be sensible wake up from your spiritual stupor as you ought and stop sinning when you are with them when you are in their presence do you feel like you are being uplifted? Do you feel your spirit being fed 
in a good way, healthy foods. Like, you know, when we put bad foods into into our body, we feel sleepy, we feel sluggish, we feel bleh, we feel like we want to be crabby. But when you put, put those good foods, greens, nutrients, you feel good. You feel like you want to you wanna just say hi to everybody. Hey! When you are around this person physically, when you are in their presence, are they draining you? Or are they uplifting you? Are they making you smile? Are they your peace? But I know that when I was around them, my spirit... No. And I am I consider myself a very happy person. I'm naturally very happy. I feel like I got a lot of dopamine up there. I'm very hyper. But being around this person literally did suck the life out of me. And you have to be careful of those people. While you should be there for others, God says to, you know, put people's burdens onto you. Take people's burdens. Do whatever you can. If you have the resources with you to make someone's life better, whether that's mentally, financially, whatever it may be, then do that. But do not sacrifice your well-being and your mental health to try to save someone else and I think that's what I was doing I was trying to fix this person I was trying to save this person I was trying to give this person multiple you know solutions and this person was just finding every negative thing to say to those solutions and at a certain point you just have to say okay I can't help you I can't do this anymore I tried and at that point you cannot feel guilty and you cannot feel like you failed it is not your job to fix people it's not your job to save people but it is your job to support people give people you know what you can give them but like I said you cannot force someone to take that you cannot force someone to get their life together you cannot force someone to get back up and to speak good things into their life I believe I went through all the signs. I know I look completely different and it is several days later and I apologize for that. But ultimately, those are the six signs that I want to share with you guys when it comes to being in a relationship with someone and knowing whether or not God would want you in that relationship according to his word and his instructions in the Bible. But that is all this little woman has to say. I'm not going to hold y'all up too much because I know y'all attention spans probably going zoop. Me too. It's time to wrap it on up. But thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I highly encourage you guys to get into these scriptures and these signs and familiarize yourselves with them. So when you're faced with certain situations and problems or whatever it may be, you have God and his word with you. But that is it. And that is all. I love y'all. And I'm going to talk to y'all soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.